Hello, my name is William Randolph and welcome to another AMS Insights video. These AMS Insights are short training videos that demonstrate the value of the AMS platform. On this AMS Insights, I'm gonna discuss the idea and the concept around required award dates, their importance and some strategies on how to catch up if you find your plan and your required award dates not aligned. Okay, so let's get started. One of the things you will see there is required award dates. These are the dates that are set in the system when you establish a PID from the standpoint of identifying when your requirement is needed. Please know, one, that your RAD is Mission informed. When you set your required award dates, please know that they are not informed by the plan. Actually, the RAD informs the plan. Okay, you build a plan that is reflective of your required award dates. No, also know that inside AMS, that information is predictive. Okay, so AMS tells you, gives you a sense of whether your, your required award dates are actually reflective of reality. Okay, so it's predictive. It's predictive. They let you, the system lets you know. It's like, ah, this plan based on this required award date, there's something wrong. There's something amiss, okay? There's something, there's something misaligned, if you will, okay? So let's, let's talk about how do we get to required award dates. We hope that your procurement planning conference is co-created and jointly attended. The team gets together and says, hey, we got, a, we got something to do, okay? So it's co-created and jointly attended. And then your procurement planning agreement okay, documents the commitments. It documents the commitments. Now you have an artifact that says this is what we are, we have agreed to do. Please know that then sometimes life happens. And that plan, that PPA, that agreement and associated plan falls off the rails. So we have to do something. So I've got a couple of do's and a few don'ts in terms of setting the stage. Here's, let's, get to, let's take care of the don'ts first. Don't, number one. Don't change the, change the required award date alone. Don't change that required award date alone. The required award date is aligned or should be aligned to a plan. So if you change the required award date without changing the plan, you get error. So it's like, hey, something's wrong. And you wonder why your plan is still in the red or being highlighted. It's because the required award date, which is mission driven, is now not reflective of the plan. Okay, here's the second don't. Don't unilaterally change the plan. 
Don't unilaterally change the plan because the plan is has multiple players. The plan is reflective, again, of your co-created and jointly attended conference. It has multiple players. So the plan, if you change it unilaterally, may not be executable and it may not be known if that's changed unilaterally. So let's let's not do those, let's not do those things. Here's some things you can do. Let's talk about the do's. The first do is let's get the team together. Get the team together. This challenge wasn't created alone, so it won't be solved alone. You got to get the team together. Okay, You got to get the team together to examine this plan and see what went wrong. Okay, What went wrong? Number two, I'm going to create a word for you. Co recreate the plan. Whatever ad adaptations that need to happen to the plan, again, because it's multiple players, multiple lines of businesses, multiple functional areas in an acquisition team that are required to effectively execute a plan, you've got to co recreate the plan. Number three, accelerate and innovate. In order to create a new plan, specifically if the RAD stays the same, if the mission says the, the required award date doesn't change, then you've got to accelerate and innovate. You've got to pour fuel on some activities that you would have thought you had a normal processing time to do, and then you've got to rethink, reimagine, and maybe even create some new strategies to execute the plan in the time you have available. So accelerate and innovate. That's a strategy. Four, recommit to the plan. Recommit. You've got to get the commitments back to the new plan. We had commitments up here, but again, life happens. But now that we have accelerated, we've innovated, we now have to get recommitted to the plan. So that's very, very important to lock down the commitments that people agree to do what they say they were going to do. And then last, but certainly not least, set a new drum beat. Set a new drum beat. Maybe when you do this analysis, the forensics on the old plan, you'll see that, oh, we didn't have enough touches in there for the team, enough status. So you've got to set a new drum beat, whether that's weekly, whether that's twice a week, or daily stand-ups. All are good. It doesn't matter. Whatever is necessary to get the new plan in place, do that. Again, the, re the required award date is mission driven. So if the mission hasn't changed, okay, and your plan is offline, okay, it's not aligned, then there's only three things you can do. You have to reimagine the plan, the execution of the plan. You have to reimagine the resources applied to the plan, okay? And then you got to speed up the plan. Thank you again for your time and attention on this AMS Insights video. And be on the lookout for other AMS Insights videos coming soon. All the best and much success.